Okay, uh, we're gonna be jumping into uh, Dust Force, which is gonna be next. Uh, it's actually the first game I played, and gotta say it's definitely a good choice if you're not sure what you want to jump into. It's a nice action-packed game. Uh, it's definitely has a good nostalgia for it um, if you play a lot of older games just the layout of it obviously and it controls really well um, especially with the controller I haven't really I don't really like playing a uh, keyboard and mouse too much um, I definitely prefer having a controller so which is probably the reason why I went to this game first Um, and right off the bat you'll start on this platform right here and see so you just press up to jump into the tutorial uh, same way to go through doors and stuff uh, and this game really has a good tutorial uh, you definitely learn the mechanics of it and you can really get a feel for it what kind of game to expect out of it, um, which I feel some of the other games in the indie pack uh, are lacking. Um, this game's really uh, has good arcade feel to it. Uh, has a digital, eight-bit sounding kind of music. Uh, you have this classic side scroller obviously it's you can tell uh, it's a brutes game uh, which is good and I, I know a lot of people will probably argue that indie games will tend to go that route and it's kind of a cop out but this game's definitely well executed uh, as you can tell I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing it's a little better uh, Yeah, so it's like your classic kind of side scroller. Uh, it's kind of like a Sonic game. Um, you're basically uh, cleaning up this world, though, and as you move along. Um, one thing I, I complain it doesn't actually tell you what button does what on the controller. It gives you prompts for the keyboard. Um, I'll tell you now, A is jump. Uh, obviously the directions are just the directions on the D-pad or the joystick. Uh, but your A button's going to jump and your B is going to be the dash. I mean, there's really not much more to say about this game, um, except I think I, you should probably uh, be in there playing this game. Oh, again, uh, before I forget, X is you're going to be your attack button, uh, which you're learning about now, and uh, this gives you another level of interaction with this world. Um, I'm curious to see what other kind of things are added. Uh, puzzle experience it gives you with these attacks controls because uh, it really does control well uh, it's it's not too hard it's not too easy it's um, it's definitely a very impressive title um, and I can definitely see it doing very well in this competition that they're doing with uh, Facebook right now, getting uh, likes and playtime, because um, I definitely see myself coming back to this. And, 
Uh, so again, that's uh, your X button is your main attack, and your Y is going to be your uh, heavier attacks. Um, also, with the Y, it's going to send these bigger uh, dust balls uh, flying. I mean, the game comes off as being really simple, but uh, there's definitely a lot to it, and I can see there being a lot more to it. Um, so, off the bat, a uh, quick playthrough. What I like about it is uh, it's fun. Uh, it's definitely an interesting animation style. I can see myself playing it a lot. It's got that classic nostalgia feel to it. Um, and, uh, what I also really like, you also get multiple characters to pick from um, which actually I'll show you real quick before we finish this off in case you want to see that but like I said I think a lot of people are going to be playing this um, it's an interesting premise too I guess uh, a few things I don't really like about it is it's what you would expect for an indie game um, it kind of plays on a classic form that we've seen so many times before. Uh, but it gives it a good pick up and play kind of feel. And I think people can recognize with it. Um, I want to get more involved with it, so 